So, I'm an easy mark. One thing that is uh, well known about my consumer habits is that I love anything Oreo, or I at least try anything Oreo, and I love Coca-Cola, and now my two vices have uh, joined forces to take me specifically down. I have a strong sensation this will uh, handle my stomach better than the Batman pizza did, so. Where do you think this will rank, like, with the Easter candies we did? Like, mid? Mid. <laughs> I fully believe it's going to be like, this exists, fantastic, because I notice it's one of the blonde Oreos being colored in there as opposed to the... Uh, yeah. Green, so, and I, and I have, like, a 50-50 about whether or not I like the blonde Oreos or not, so. Do you think the... Coke flavored Oreos and the Oreo flavored Coke will taste anything like each other. That is a good question, but I did notice popping candy. That I yeah. did not realize is a whole part of the trajectory. Yeah, I feel like that's their way of emulating like the fizziness of a soda. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm down. What do you want to try first, the cookies or the soda? Um, let's try the cookies first, but then let's make sure we drink water to get the taste out of our mouths so we get a fresh absolutely taste. Should grab some cups before we start at this? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll grab some. I am predicting that this will taste about as much like Coca-Cola as uh, root beer flavored Dum Dums taste like root beer. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, the uh, the structural hard. integrity. It, it feels like these were made. Yeah. Okay. My, this one's a little bit better, but. Uh... So the the one side is like branded. Yeah. And then the other side is just in, and it feels it's like branded, but yeah. But it feels like they had an Oreo, took it apart, and put the Coke side on it. That's a wild scent. Oh. Yeah. It's almost bubblegummy. Yeah. Like, there's like, it's like a similar smell profile to Coke. Yeah. Because when I was a little kid, I used to, I, I used to drink Coke and shoot bubblegum at the same time. And, <laughs> and this, I'm all out of bubblegum. Exactly. <laughs> when I would take the gum out of my mouth, you know, because, you know, I was, kids are disgusting. I would sometimes smell it. It smells like almost identical to this. Like it smells like someone took like the pure Coke syrup from a fountain, like not mixed with the CO two. Yeah, and poured in a bunch of like um, like bubblegum flavored syrup for mm -hmm. uh, uh, for a snow cone. Yeah. Oh, and you can sort of see here, like very lightly, the popping candy is just kind of like in the oh the yeah. stain. Yeah, they're they're just kind of. Hmm. Well, all right. Hey, Bottoms up. up. I'm not tasting Coke. I got bubblegum. Yeah. I'm having the same experience with this, having the Haley Bieber smoothie yesterday. I went <laughs> to Air One, finally. I got the Haley Bieber smoothie, which is supposed to taste like strawberries, but tasted exactly like banana bread, which I was very confounded by. <laughs> and this just tastes like bubblegum flavor. Okay, this one's a little better put together. Mm -hmm. There's another Oreo flavor this tastes like. I feel like the gingerbread ones. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 not dissimilar to that. There's probably really like three flavor profiles that they give yeah. Oreos, and this also the way that the the fondant in there it has more of a profile to me of like specifically the Duncan Hines from Funfetti frog. Mm. That is what I'm getting. I get what you mean. Um. Another one of these suckers. Okay, so the cream is mostly just regular Oreo cream. Yeah. With like a little mm -hmm. bit in there. The texture feels wrong biting into it because I think my mouth knows what an Oreo is supposed to like feel like. Mm -hmm. And this <laughs> is just like throwing that, that profile off. Your mouth knows the contours of an Oreo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Look, my mouth knows its way around a few Oreos, let me tell you. Yeah, there's like a kind of an almost a thicker, cakier. Te te texture to the prem itself, the cream, the fondant, the the the, the white stuff. Um, it's definitely more cakey than cokey. Yeah, it's like it meant to be cake flavored Oreos, but there was a typo. Yeah. This also, what was the is the spaced Coke or the spiced Coke or the the dream time? You know, Coke. Yeah, that, the, there were like eight abstract flavors of Coke. And I tried, I think, three of them, yeah. and they were fine. Whatever one that we tried that tasted like cotton candy-ish, mm -hmm. like, this is what is... It, 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 this feels like that as a cookie to me. Like... The fact that there's Oreo-flavored Coke and Coke-flavored Oreos is so funny to me, because these are two brands that are simultaneously trying to be flavorings for other things and to be blank slates for other things to flavor them. <laughs> what I'm saying is Coke and Oreos are the switches of uh, junk food. They're not subs, they're not doms. Oh, this will be my brain forever now. Look, Coke and Oreos are down for anything. <laughs> Let me get some water. Sounds good. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves, chat. <laughs>
Lord. All right, since he's not here anymore, we're just going to talk shit. Doggins is the nicest person you've ever met in your entire life. You know, he's just the kindest, sweetest, gentlest human being, always just nice, lovely to the people, always will come there in a pinch, just, just absolutely heartfelt. He never can do anybody wrong. It's just, just the kindest, wonderfest human being I've ever met in my entire life. And hot as hell, too. Really, honestly, 10 out of 10. He only just knows how to make you feel better, no matter what hat of day you're having. He is just perfect and kind and I just love him so much. He's just the greatest. I can't help but not loving that snowman ass looking motherfucker, the weirdest person I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Your proportions are disproportionate, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do that bit when they're just, when he's just right there. Because it's like, you know, because the bit is like, you're supposed to say nice stuff when they're not in the room and they're not going to come in. They hear the snowman ass proportion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Limited edition Oreo. Coca-Cola Zero. I worry I still have too much actual Oreo flavor in my mouth. Same. So I'm trying to swish so I have like... Should we get the Listerine? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, because that would enhance whatever... That, like that would affect the flavor profile. Do we feel blank slate enough? I, I, I think I can manage, so... I don't know about you. Good news. This is fizzy cookie flavored. First off, fizzy cookie is a great drag name. Yeah. Fizzy cookie sounds like a weird sex act they do in North Dakota. <laughs> Even though it's outlawed in North Dakota. <laughs> I feel like that when they they're, they tried to rebrand soaking in Utah, they decided to recall it the fizzy cookie. Hmm. I, I'm wondering if this is going to lead to the same reaction that we had to putting the uh, pumpkin spice syrup in the Diet Coke this morning. Yeah, that was a game changer. Hmm. It's a little more chocolatey than I expected. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's 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 more cocoa heavy, mm. very much so. It's like it, it it really tastes like you know when you make a, like a Coke float mm -hmm. and you put like chocolate ice cream in there as your base. Like it really tastes like the melted chocolate ice cream, like dredges at the bottom of like. Or like, float. or like when you get chocolate syrup in a Coke at a Johnny Rockets yeah. or what have you. Mm -hmm. But you know, in a Coke Zero, so you still got that. You still got that delightful lingering aspartame. Yeah, gotta love it. The real question is, would a shot of pumpkin spice really help that or not? <laughs> but look, there's nine more cans of this, so we got yeah, time to experiment. Do, do. Mm -hmm. But that can be off camera. Yeah. Oh my. I have not watched the Secret Lives of Mormon Wives or whatever the show is called. But, <laughs> I can't wait to hear where this is going. But I know because of this show and just the general fascination with Utah culture in general, like, you know, I've been hearing about these soda shops and like the whole oh, sure. soda okay. culture, <laughs> basically, like the dirty Dr. Peppers and the dirty Diet Cokes and stuff like that, which is just, you know, soda as base. And then you put your like creamer and flavor enhancers. I feel like this tastes like like this was clearly like a swig invention you know like a mm. dirty doctor a, a, a dirty coke zero or something like that that coke was like ah this popular soda chain in utah has this let's like can it make it our own <laughs> i also just noticed on the side here it says besties forever but ever is covered with a limited time I, I honestly i kind of appreciate that i kind of am very why do i feel like this was influenced by like the deadpool and wolverine marketing campaign it really does have that feeling you want another sip Willing to give it a shot. It's after just the high of pumpkin spice diet coke this morning. Mm -hmm. This just feels like such a letdown. It's I, like it's fine as mm. flavored Coke Zeros yeah. go, but it's not giving me what I want from an Oreo. No. Like I'm not tasting the cookies and cream element here. It's just it it tastes like a chemically chocolate added to what's already a pretty chemically soda. I feel like if they decide to ever do like a Hershey's collaboration, this is just what they're going to do. Sure, it'll probably just be the same thing. Yeah, maybe it'll they'll have to use a slightly different chocolate recipe. But mm -hmm. um, I have had worse flavored yeah, coats no, than this. Uh, yeah, like um, whatever that space one was really really disgusting. But yeah, I honestly don't remember which one was which out of those uh, vague concept flavored coats. I remember specifically the one that was like the pixelated one i really did not care for and had like a whole stink about but like yeah i i will say of the two mm -hmm. of the two i think the coke flavored oreo did a better job at tasting like the thing it said it would taste yeah. like but it still didn't do a great job at no. that but it it tasted like a flavored oreo and if you're thinking coke you're like oh yeah i can see how that's like a similar profile yeah. but it also was not all that different from a gold from any no <laughs> any lighter colored oreo the really oreos are rarely successful this was not a failure but this was not a success either this is a c student yeah right here it's just now how do they taste together 
Go for it, science man. Tell us what you learned. They kind of cancel each other out. Not surprised. This is the thing I learned the hard way. Years ago, I figured out, you know, my two sweets vices are Oreos and vanilla Coke. Can't have them together because the Oreo just like drowns out, like just absorbs, mm -hmm. sucks out all the flavor of the vanilla Coke. Yeah when they're both in my mouth. It's like the way that when you put cranberry with any other flavor, all you taste is the cranberry. Mm -hmm. Like they don't enhance each other. It just, it's kind of like how, um, I don't know if this is true across the board for coconut milk, but when I worked at Starbucks, the coconut milk we used there, mm -hmm. it basically just deleted whatever flavor you put in the latte mm -hmm. and you just tasted pure espresso. Uh huh. And this is like, you know, having an Oreo and a vanilla Coke just deletes the flavoring from the soda. So you're eating an Oreo and then you're just feeling the chemical in your mouth. Yeah, that's really it. I feel my teeth rotting from the inside out right now. It's very similar. Um, look, I'm still going to finish this case. No, but, of course. But I'm not going to get this again. No, no. This was for science and this was for a tax write-off. And so... And also, this cross-promotion exists as bait for me. And I fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Yes. And I knew it was not going to be yeah. good. I knew I was a mark, and I was willingly giving over my money as a mark to try this thing that I knew would never live up to the perfect image in my mind of what these two tastes I love could be. But I also went in skeptically because, again, I know when I actually combine these uh, actual things, it, it doesn't work. No. Oh. So I willingly spent money on something I knew that would disappoint me mm -hmm. in the hopes that maybe it would make me say something funny on camera. <laughs> I am part of the problem. No, honey, we're part of the problem. See, the thing is, this kind of bullshit worked exactly once. And that was yeah. the Doritos Locos Taco, which I still say is is like a banger of a junk food item. Yeah, yeah. Every mashup since then just has been trying to chase that glory and just has not worked. Anyway, we have like three boxes of actual Oreos and uh, several cases of actual vanilla Coke. So uh, our pantry is full of garbage. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think of like what flavor, like what flavor I would want, like, like what branded flavor I would want uh, to combine with Coke. Cause normally I wouldn't say this, but ever since at a Rocket Fizz, we had that peanut butter soda that was better than I thought. Like yeah. Reese's Coke could be intriguing. Yeah. But I think the Hershey Company is like pretty, are they tied in with Pepsi? I feel like they're, I, 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 I don't actually know. I, I don't remember. I used to know which companies owned everything. My humble one would be to do a tie-in with Coco Vita, whatever coconut water brand that. Sure. Because I think that's like a simple, easy win as a coco as a coconut Coke. It is still shocking to us that we have yet to see pumpkin spice Coke. It, yeah. It's, it's going to be one of these years. No, absolutely. Because like the again, um, I just watched on my Reels page, and a friend of mine posted that they mixed it together, and they really liked it. And I was like, I don't have creamer, but I have pumpkin spice syrup, so let's give it a shot. And again, we were both surprised about how good it was. <laughs> yeah, it, it worked better than it should. Yeah. And uh, this worked about as well as I expected, which is to say, doesn't work as well as it maybe should, but probably works as well as it can. Yeah, I feel like this was designed to be a, a mixer drink. It's it's. I have a theory that sometimes Coke will produce stuff that's more of like, for cocktail mixers than actual leak drinker. Because I think that was the purpose of the ginger lime diet coke was like a booze mixer drink, but it- But you just liked it pure. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I think the last big like brand collaboration Coca-Cola did like that was when they had like Jack Daniels and Coke in a, like Jack and Coke it's in a can. Still have it, you yeah. can get it at Vons, yeah. And when they introduced that, I feel like that was the last one before this. This Oreo will probably be rebranded to just like, you know, Caramel magic or whatever the fuck. Yeah, cotton candy. Or just, just popping candy Oreo. Yeah, um, exactly. The Coke may be rebranded to Chocolate Coke Zero. Who yeah. knows? It's like whatever that they started calling that high C flavor when uh, when they lost the Ghostbusters license oh, and yeah. couldn't do Ecto Cooler anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have no closer for this. Uh, we do a podcast. Yeah, it's on do. It's on Patreon. Yeah. Uh, as you're watching this, probably the most recent episode is us talking about our recent trip back mm -hmm. back east. Yeah. Um, I'm working on real things that aren't just this, but uh, but this was uh, something to have fun with in the meantime. This was a filler video. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who aren't disgusted when we eat and drink on camera. <laughs> Sorry, Haley. Haley's definitely not watching. <laughs> Sorry to all of our other misophonia friends. Mm -hmm. Uh... 
We will catch you next time. Later days, y'all. Later days. Oh, 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 we oh. There's nothing like the Coca-Cola, nothing like the Coca-Cola. Absolutely. You're not in this room right now, thank you.